Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening. Yes, good evening. yes I Great. can hear. Good. How, how are you? Fine, teacher. And you? I'm okay. It's hot today. Really, really hot today. Yeah, no, no rain today. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, hold on. Excuse me one second, please. Okay, no problem. Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you. Something is wrong with my webcam. It's not working for the moment. So um, I have my picture. Okay. Okay, teacher. It's okay. All right, yes. thank you. <clears throat> so how was your day today? Something special? Not really. No? No. Just work. Can you imagine when El Salvador opens everything? Wow. I don't want. It's it's not it's crazy, no man. I would think it's crazy. <laughs> the the what, what I think the problem is I understand I understand the necessity of some people. I understand that some people do need to take the the public transportation. It's true, but there are some things that are not necessary. For example, bars, bars, discotheques. You know, those things are not necessary. But everything, everything's going to open. Correct. Yeah, it's correct. It's right. I agree. Um, are you going to continue to work at home, or you have to go back to work? Who works? Uh, who works from home? Uh, I do. I work from home, and you work in Tigo, right? Yes, right. Uh, by now, uh, we're gonna be just like we are now. The company is not gonna make any changes. Okay, you don't say by now. You say until until now, or so until far. Now, okay. So far, I think it's so far it would be better. Okay. So right. far, no. We're gonna be like we are now. That's good. Yes, it's good because we don't take the that risk, right? I don't think I'm going to go back to to the office until January, maybe. Yeah, that's good because yeah. you, you work in a, in a call center, right? Yes, I work in a call center for Google. Yes. For Google, or that's right. It's a lot of people who pass in the day, comes and goes, so it's it's a lot of risk. Yes. Call, call centers are a big risk because you work in a closed office. Yes. We are a lot of people talking. Can you imagine the elevators? No. Yeah, you know, I think I think maybe that's why that's why um call centers or offices will open later because it's going to be very difficult to um to to follow the instructions because 
only two or three people in an elevator is impossible. You know, so I think it's better to stay home. And it's people good. are people are so close in, in in that case. Yes, it's true. Is somebody going to go back to work? Or everybody's going to stay home still? Uh, to me, stay at home, but actually, uh, I don't know really, because um, I'm a teacher, but uh, I, I think I don't work uh, in, in, I work uh, online all, all, all of the rest of the year. Um, you're you're a teacher, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. For what for what grade or what level? Uh, I'm teacher in, in uh, about graphic designer. I'm I'm designer. Um, I'm teacher in all level. In, in I work in Insta for two. Oh, and, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Wow. Okay. Nice. Okay, um, I think everybody's coming back. Today we're going I've to... Been I've always been working. From home or, or from the office? From home and later uh, office. You work in Tigo too, right? Yes. But yeah. we're not in Tuscania. Uh, Brenda and I, we're, we're not in Tuscania. Where are you? Uh, there's an, another building called Sangre Tigo. So uh, there, the um, people, people there is uh, sales and distribution people. Okay. So wait a minute, Sangre Tigo. Yes. Sangre like blood. Yes. Wow, that is the name of the building. Wow. <laughs> Why? Uh, yes. <laughs> this is a tag, a famous tag, in uh, our company. So. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see. I see. It's like a hashtag, right? Like Sangre Tigo. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. It makes sense. <laughs> and, and where is that? Uh, it's in uh, Puerto, Carretera de Puerto de Libertad. It's nearby. Um, uh, La Herradura. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's far. No, 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 no. The, uh, the restaurant. Herradura. Oh. Oh, oh, I think I know where it is. <laughs> uh, uh, in front of El Flamingo Plaza, teacher. Ah, uh, yes. no. nearby Flamingo, <laughs> near, near the, 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 all the motels. That is a restaurant, <laughs> no? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I think I think that is a restaurant, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, listen, um, today's class, I mean, I know that we've been doing the uh, active and passive voice, and you guys are very good. You guys really understand that. So, to, you know, today's topic is very, very easy. I don't know if you have seen it. It's the pronunciation of O, of the letter O. Mm -hmm. which I really don't think we're going to have a problem with. So I decided today that we're going to have an activity. Okay. 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 So okay. the activity today is, well, first of all, you have to practice listening. You have to practice uh, your listening. Okay. And because we're going to practice first and third person, okay? We're going to talk about habits. Do you know, what, what are habits? Something that you do Habitos. every day. Okay, okay, something you do every day. Or not necessarily every day, something you do in a special way. Okay, do you know do you know what is the difference between a habit and a custom? Mm. So, so. 
What, what do you think? Personal. It's personal. I don't know. Maybe the fragrance, teacher. Mm, okay. A custom. Habit is a, is a, a thing that you do frequently. And a custom uh, is you do to for two or three or more for one year. Okay, yeah. Actually, customs, yeah. Customs, you do, you have customs in a country, in your family, in your religion, in your school. Correct? There are certain no. things you do, customs. Habits are more personal, are things that only maybe you do. Okay. Um, today we're going to practice about good habits that we have, strange habits that we have, habits we like on people, habits you don't like on people, okay? So, for example, I'm going to start with a good habit I have, and I want you to ask me something related to my habit. Okay, so this is the objective. You have to, it's like, it's like a conversation, like, a, like we're all drinking coffee here. So for example, if I say one good habit that I have is I like to read. Can you ask me questions related to my habit? What do you like to, to read? Okay, very good. Um, I, before I used to read a lot of books. Now I like to read a lot of um a lot of controversial topics. Like news? Yeah, more news, religion, politics, controversial. I, I really like controversial people. Okay. I like to read biographies of, of bad people. Bi biography of Nayib Bukele. <laughs> no, you know, I, I, I have not read one about Nayib Bukele yet, but I don't think I need to because everybody we know Nayib Bukele. <laughs> yes. So, but I'm, I am very, very positive that in the future, maybe in 10 years, we will see a movie about Nayib Bukele in Netflix. Really? Maybe. Can be. Maybe because... Um, you know, every country, every country, at least in Mexico, Central America, and South America, it's always in United States too. It's always two. It's always two political groups. Always the left and the right, left and the right, left, right, left, right. And um, now we have El Salvador has a, a third option, and the third op option is very, very strong. So it's maybe going to be interested, <clears throat> interesting to see. Wow. First time maybe in Central America that now there's a third option. No more left, no more right. And it's a good, it's a bad, I don't know. But it's historical. So maybe, maybe we'll see a, a movie about him. I'm pretty sure. I mean, maybe good, a good governor, bad governor, I don't know. We need more time for that. Mm. But yeah, I like to read controversial topics. Um, anything else? Okay, so remember, so one good habit I have is I like to read. Anything else? Hey, sir. Mm -hmm. the, which is the most controversial biography that you have read about, about people? Oh, good question. Maybe the Bible. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, Bible maybe, is, maybe the Bible is very controversial. It's the best example, I think. Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah, very good. You see, that, that's what I want you to, um, that's how I want you to, um, that's how I want you to ask questions. Like this, this are, you know, like we're drinking coffee. And then after that, okay, well, now let me tell you one thing. Um, let me tell you about a bad habit I have. Um, one bad habit I have is 
I don't know, I have many, but one bad habit I want to change is that I always watch forget. <laughs> I'm sorry? Watch a lot of Netflix. Yeah, no. I, I, <laughs> it's, it's difficult to share bad things. No, for in my case, it's easy. It's <laughs> difficult to share which one I want because I have so many bad habits. But maybe, maybe I want to. Um, I want to be less angry. I am really? sometimes. Sometimes when I drive, I get very angry. That's considered uh, in a, in a habit. A habit. Yeah, because I have the habit that it's a bad habit that if somebody does something bad, I won't shut up. <laughs> Oh, okay. I so won't shut up. I, I have it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to, I really need to change that habit. Yeah. All right. Okay, so um, I'm going to ask you, let me see. Um, Isaac, oh, and let's try not to repeat the same habits because if we repeat the habits, I'm sorry if somebody has a good habit of reading, but let's not repeat reading anymore because we repeat the questions. So I know you have more than one habit. So Isaac, can you tell the class one good habit you have, sir? Uh, I would like to listen music. You would like to or you like to? I would like to listen. So you don't listen to music? I'm sorry, what is one good habit that you have, Isaac? I didn't, I didn't hear you. Okay, repeat please, teacher. Yes, can you tell me one good habit that you have? Okay. Um, and you, you have to say like, one good habit that I have is Like, remember, I said one good habit that I have is I like to read. What is one good habit you have, Isaac? I, I don't understand the question, teacher. Excuse me. No, it's okay. It's okay. No problem. Um, I would like you to tell the class one good habit you have. Do you understand? No. Do you understand good habit? Good, good habit. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell the class a good habit you have. Uh, reading. Except reading. That was my habit. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Other, other, other good habit. Yes. Mm. If you want, I, I can come back to you, Isaac. Practice, uh, for example, good habit. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I will come back to you. Maybe you, you remember a good habit you have. Oscar Mauricio, can you tell me one good habit you have? Yes. Um, one habit. One habit I have is one. One good habit I have. One. One good habit I have is um, learning new stuff. Great. Like learn to play piano or learn learn to, to to do something new so you like to learn new things yes all right do you have questions for mauricio class for oscar that, that's a very good habit he has 
Can you mention it, Oscar? What kind of stuff do you do you learn in in, in the last months, for example? Yes. Uh, yeah. The, the, I just tell you uh, the the last month I uh, start to learn to play piano. Is it difficult to play piano? Uh, at the beginning, it's difficult. Uh, to get the position of the fingers, yeah. it's hurt. Uh, it gets a little hurt, but then you can. Well, then I used to 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 do it. I I don't know. I, I acostumbrar. You get used to doing it. I I get used to it. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, very good. Before you start, Oscar, uh, do you have uh, any experience or knowledge about it? No, I just uh, take a little course in YouTube. Oh, okay. Videos. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in the quarantine, I download a, 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 a enter course of, of how to play piano. Very so good. I, I, that's great. I, I, that's great. Yes, I, I, I just start <clears throat> at the quarantine. I, I complete just one lesson, but I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, that's good. Um, I love, I love YouTube for that because I learned how yeah. to make curtido now. <laughs> yeah. What about the piano? How much does it cut? The piano, it it was cost two hundred. It cost. It cost. It cost two hundred. The piano, oh. I I I bought uh, many years ago, many years no? ago. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> and um, when when you you want to play what kind of music? Classical, cumbias, jazz. I want to play uh, Freddie Mercury. Can. Classical. Well, yeah, Freddie Mercury is, is good for, for to hear and but uh, uh, for now I, I just want to, to, to play uh, the easy sounds or, or the easy melodies. Uh, okay. Because I, I just beginning. Interesting. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Victor, can you tell can you tell um, can you tell the class what is one bad habit you have? I had already prepared a good habit since you would get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Tell me, tell me a good habit you have. I'll continue okay. with good habits. <laughs> okay, I would think that Ex my... except reading and learning. There's no, that's not my <laughs> that's not a bad habit. I, I have a good habit that I have is be organized you are organized a lot <laughs> wow <laughs> it's like an ocd for me oh you have an ocd <laughs> but it's in in the most cases i would have it be organized in you, know, it's, you know i envy you i envy you because that is my bad habit <laughs> really I am not organized but but I know where everything is but I am not organized I I miss uh, some things even when I organize so it's that's not a, <laughs> do a you, guarantee do, do you immediately fix your bed when you wake up yes <laughs> yes I fix my my, my bed the bedroom, and we, uh, my my wife is organized too. So we we did click in everything. We don't have that problem because at the uh, the the first days we were married, the the problem was that the the organized for me is different from her organized. So who is we, more? Who is more compulsive? 
Um, no, I it's more think, compulsive. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to decide, but but I think I I think I am more compulsive. <laughs> wow. <laughs> But we don't have a problem. We 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 have already uh, know each other, and we know the other of of the of of everyone. <laughs> no, you know, well, yeah, you know that could be a good and a bad habit, depending on on your level of, <laughs> depending on the level of obsessive. <laughs> no, I, or 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 if you with with someone that not organized, then that <laughs> that's. That's a big problem. Yes, it's true. It's true. What I, 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 is... Sorry, I, I think the, the bad habit is not the, to be organized. It, the bad habit could be that you annoy when somebody else is not organized. Maybe you you yeah, because maybe, is there, yeah. no, don't be uh, tolerant. Uh, with the the mess of the other people. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't you don't go to public bathrooms or anything. No. Yes. I I I not so strict. But if I can fix some uh, uh, fix or organize uh, something, I do. Even in the streets, so I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's like, uh, but it's not that that I can live in. Um, in I can be in a in a mess in other place. I think. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know that's good. It's good to be like you are now in the in the quarantine because you you have everything clean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Now yes. let's let's hear a woman now. Berta, are you there? Yes. Hi, Berta. Can you tell the class one good Hi. habit? Can you tell the class one good habit you have? Uh, in the class? Yeah. Tell tell the class what is one good habit you have. I I bath in the talk <laughs> in English. I'm sorry. I bath when I talk in English. Okay. But actually, you speak in English. You okay, speak English. I speak in English, yes. Uh, you know, that's a good... Do you know the difference between speak and talk, class? Yes. I know. <laughs> I don't know. What is the difference? I'm uh, Luis Enrique, I think. I think it's, it speak is when you... Talk. You really, really dominate the... Uh, Whatever, whatever language they you speak and talk is different. It's just when you you are uh, you make you make a relationship with person, you're talking and discussion and and try to to resolve many many topics about about the different things, person, etc. etc. Okay, yeah. Yeah, speak is an ability. Okay. If, if you speak one language, two languages, three languages, that's ability. Um, for example, um, that's why people say, hey, how old is your baby? Oh, he's eight months, can he speak? If you notice, every time people always ask you, can you speak English? Never, the people never say, can you talk English? Yes. Because can is, can is, it's an, it's an open question. I mean, the answer is yes, I can or no, I can't. So every time you ask can, you are asking if you have that ability. So can you speak English? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Uh, talk is the action. Okay. Talk is the blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's why people say, come on, let's go talk. Yeah, but if we're outside, oh, oh I've been a hand, I've been a hand to speak in English, speak English, speak English. <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, so Berta, tell the class one good habit you have. Uh, I'm good in in reading. 
Okay, one more habit that is not reading. Uh, can you repeat, please? Can you tell another habit that is not reading, learning, or okay. cleaning? Yeah, the other, the other thing. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm good at, uh, with uh, craft. You're good with hands. Yes. With the craft. Um, okay. I oh, do okay. craft. Uh, For example, what do you do? Uh, with, uh, I don't know, so how do you say reciclaje? Recycling? I could. Re uh, with recycle, yes. But, but what, like you recycle cans or paper, plastic? Everything. <laughs> I work with kids and I work with the recycle. Okay. Oh, very interesting. Yes. yes. So you're good at handcraft. You you make things yes. with your hand, handcraft. right? Yes, handcraft. All right, good. Interesting. Nice. Okay, Mar Maricela, hi. Are you there? Yes, hi. Good evening. Okay, okay hi. Can you tell me what is one good habit that Oscar Mauricio has? Sorry? Can you tell me what is one good habit that Oscar has, Oscar Mauricio? Um, learn. Yeah, he, but I, uh, okay. Learn play very, piano. Very good, but please answer in a complete sentence. One good habit um, that... Um, one good habit he have he has uh -huh. is a uh, learn play piano good or play or learn a lot of stuff okay good he likes to yes. learn he likes well yes excellent very good <laughs> good listening good listening uh luis yes, medrano yes. are you there yes i'm here what is one good habit that victor avalos has uh, I don't remember, but I think a good habit he said it was he is organized. Mm -hmm. He is very organized. Yeah, he's very organized. Okay, yes. He said he's very organized, right? <clears throat> okay, very good. Uh, Jasmine, are you there? <coughs> yes, teacher. Okay, hi, Jasmine. Um, I forgot, what is one good habit that Bertha has? Um, I don't remember. Remember recycling? Oh, yes. I one, have, one good habit that she has is she recycling everything. Yeah. Okay, good. But she doesn't recycle. She, she does handcraft with recycled objects. Teacher. Yes. I don't know what uh, that word means. What word? Handcraft and handcraft. And <clears throat> okay. Okay. Man, can I okay. he said he he said she said. Okay. Who can who can help? Maricela, handcraft in English. Don't say in Spanish. Handcraft. Let me, let me. Uh, handcraft um, is a person that collects uh, object to, to, um, to, do, to use in other teams. Okay. Or you can do this, for example, Maricela. Why is Oloquilta famous? Oloquilta is famous for? Oloquilta is fam famous for um, their pupusas. Exactly, good. Rice pupusas. Good. Y Lo Vasco is famous for? I don't know what uh, muñequitos. 
Handcraft. Handcraft. <laughs> because, because I born. Barro. Barro. <laughs> Handcraft. Handcraft. Um, for the things people make by their own. That is handcraft. Their, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you understand what handcraft is? Yes. 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 Oh, hey, good. Cool. You see, Thank that's you. that's a good way of sometimes of explaining class. You know, like what is handcraft? Yes. You can say. Um, lo muñequito de lo va, compre. No, you know, you use your uh, vocabulary. You know, like, oh, lo cuilta is famous for pupusas. Y salco is famous for, for what? Brujos, right? Witches. Oh, wizards. Hey. Wizards, okay. Handcraft is the same it's of uh, souvenirs. Or yeah. similar. But you know, actually, souvenirs, it can be anything. It's not necessarily a handcraft. Souvenirs is anything you buy as. Yeah, it stands, uh, stands for. <laughs> yeah. It, it, souvenir is what a tourist buys when you go to a tourist place. It can be a handcraft, a picture, clothes. Yeah, anything that says El Salvador on it is souvenir. It's not necessarily handcraft. Handcraft is objects made by hand. Okay. Yeah. I get it. Like be uh -huh. okay, good. All right. Uh Flor, are you there, Flor? Tell me, teacher. All right, let's let's make this a little bit more exciting. Can you tell the class yeah, a correct. strange habit you have? Um, but do you understand strange, correct? Uh, um, Oscar play the piano. No, no. L listen to my question. Tell the class. Repeat, please. Yeah, yes. Please tell the class one strange habit that you have. Um, I. Um, but really, it has to be strange. Please don't say, I dip my bread in the coffee. Oh, that's not really strange. I, I, I drink water, uh, water before uh, breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's not really strange. Strange is something like, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, for um, let me let me give an example. I think I have a strange habit. I put I put ketchup on my tamales. <laughs> this is strange. No, <laughs> okay, sure. yeah, there you go. That, How I say what, what kind of stuff is that? Yuck. Yuck. <laughs> yeah. Yuck. No. <laughs> I, tamales. There you go. When I, I get like, a tamal, I put ketchup on it. I don't know why. This is it, it is true? Yes. No. What kind uh, of tamales? The any any tamal, tamal. Any tamal, I put ketchup on it. Any kind of tamal. Then, no, wow. no, no, no. That's weird. How really? do you say crema? Yeah. Cream. Oh, no. Not cream. cream. No, I hate cream. I like cream in the tamales. <laughs> but that that's that's really like normal. Yes, that's normal. <laughs> normal, but ketchup really is not normal. But you see, that's that's an example of a strange habit, for example. <gasps> I, I, I want to know, teacher. Yes. If somebody here uh, eat cornflake uh -huh. with bread, <laughs> only me. <laughs> You eat cornflakes <laughs> and bread. Yes, and my husband uh, just look me, look at, look at me. Yes. yes. Um, with a weird face, like you. I think anybody <laughs> with would with honey bread. Only is me. <laughs> is bread in the cornflake or out the corn? No, with with the cornflake. <laughs> so oh. you put the cornflakes in the bread. 
No, 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 no. Meal. Uh -huh. Cornflake. Yes. So I put the bread. Wow. Oh, French my bread. God. Wow. That's really strange. Ketchup with tamales, teacher, really? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. My yeah. milk and cornflake with bread is so not strange. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 yeah, you got Okay, me. Oh, I, I, I understand teacher, the face I of my husband. <laughs> yes. having, I don't have any. Everybody has a strange habits. What? Remember one, and I bet you will remember. Um, yeah. I lived in San Miguel two years, and in San Miguel, people have a strange habits. For example, is somebody from San Miguel? I... I had a family in San Miguel. It's not that strange that they like a lot of things sweet. sweet. Yes, yes. You know, chuco, the chuco, the drink. Yes. 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 In San Miguel, it's sweet and pink. Yes, yes. sweet, oh. pink, and <laughs> don't have frijoles. Can beans. imagine don't, that. don't have beans. <laughs> yes, no, no, no beans, no aguaste, nothing. It's just sweet. Mm -hmm. But that and, is um, not chuco. <laughs> it's, it's another thing, but not chuco. Oh, no, for San Miguel people, they say, oh, no, San Salvador. Ew, that's ugly. <laughs> uh, also in San mm -hmm. Miguel, in San Miguel, the curtido is mayonnaise. It's not vinegar. It's, oh, it's, 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 but it's good. I like it. They, they have, they have the, two, like. the, the two curtidos. <laughs> with yeah, they have both. They, they, yes. Now they have both, but I remember the first time I went, it was very strange because when you ask, do you have vinegar, Curtido? They look at you strange. Like, no. You don't, you don't know from here, right? <laughs> yes. Um, our, yeah. With that face. Uh, my, my husband don't live in San Miguel, but he eats cheese and coffee. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Cheese and coffee. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> and hot coffee. <laughs> okay, Maricela, we have a new champion. Yes, <laughs> I, I think so. I, I don't understand how. Cheese with coffee. Yes. He put cheese no. into the coffee. Uh, yeah. Together. Wow. He, he, he buy the cheese and drink the coffee the same yes. time. Mm -hmm. Yes, at the same time. Yeah. I saw a lot of people. Okay. Um, Teacher, I have one. Oh, tell us. Oh, it better be better uh, than... I have a strange habit, but it's good. Uh, who likes in this class tequila? Me. Anybody? Me, me, okay. me, me, When sometimes when I, I drink tequila, I... I like to eat uh, strawberries uh, because it's, it's the contrast. I don't know how to contrast in English. It's the, the same. Con the it's a contrast. It's a, uh -huh, okay. It's a contrast with, between the tequila and the strawberry. It's very delicious. Oh and it's, it's, uh, yeah. it's, much, it's much better than lemon. Lemon and salt. This, you, you don't need uh, lemon, uh, or also salt. It's, it's only the strawberry, a strawberry with the, with the tequila. It's, the, it's a very delicious contrast. Oh. And this flavor is, the flavor is good. I don't know, Rick. I recommend, mm -hmm. I, I, I recommend you, <laughs> yeah. I recommend you. We can try. <laughs> strange because we usually you, we usually drink with, with with lemon and salt but but with strawberries it's better than, than lemon but wow. i have a friend that is a he's a bartender and mm -hmm. he said to me that when you use tequila with uh in this case is strawberry you increase the flavor of the tequila. Yes, yes. Really? The same. Uh, the experience yes. is, is, is another experience. It's, 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 like, it's better. You know, the margaritas, uh, you do, if you do margaritas, you can 
do a margarita with a strawberry. You know what? Uh, and, and you use tequila for, for that drink. Mm. Luis, Luis, I will try that. I will try that Friday night. No, okay. Saturday, Saturday night. Okay. Saturday night is my you tequila. Me too. You, you have to tell us about your experience so on weekend. The tequila is good. You want to hablar inglés? <laughs> yes, let's have a conference yeah. drinking tequila. With it's two or three tequilas. It's effective. It's really effective, effective for us speak English. Yes. More fluent. More fluent. Have you heard that expression? One tequila, two tequila, three tequila, floor? No. No, I, I didn't. There's a famous, you know, you drink one tequila, two tequilas, three tequilas, floor. Floor. You hit the floor. Oh. Like, uh. Do, do you understand the joke? Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, one tequila, two tequila, three tequila. Supposedly it's four, but you don't say four, you say floor. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is interesting. Uh, Daniel Ramirez, are you there? Yes, tell me. Can you tell me what is Maricela's strange habit that I still think is very strange? I think she has the, the handcraft habit. I don't know. I don't remember. No, no, that would be Bertha. Remember the strange habit. Maricela, right? You told I, us a strange habit. Yes, I think she eats a uh, conflict with bread. I yes, and milk. <laughs> yes. Well, so actually, you she should put, prove that. You should try that. You should try that. Okay. So actually, okay, to make this more visual, Maricela puts bread on her cereal. Do you understand that? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, great. Yeah, she puts bread into, on the, her, into the bowl. Into, into cereal. Into her, yes. To the cereal. Mm, that okay. was good. Yeah, but I, I won't try that, Marisela, but I would like to see you do it, though. Okay. <laughs> That's good. All right. All right. Osvaldo, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hi. Do you remember who said that drinks coffee with cheese? Um, I will, I will try to, um, what do you say, adivinar in English? Guess. Yes. I guess. Um, Victor? <laughs> mm, no. One and more maybe... try, one more guess, one more guess. <laughs> Remember, well, let, let, let me give you let me give you a clue. Okay. A woman said it. Ah, okay. But in that but, case, but it was please. not the woman who does this. <laughs> it's Berta. Berta is very popular today, but remember, Berta does handcrafts. Berta is the handcraft lady with recycling objects okay and the last chance maybe maricela is that you maricela did you say that no. who, who said it no. remember no. who remembers who said it i i remember uh, okay. berta berta's husband all right no it's not berta's husband Yes. 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 Oh my God! It's true. <laughs> Good listening. <laughs> oh, you forget it. Oh, oh, oh. I promise yes. you, I heard it was Madeline. <laughs> okay, so really Andrew, listener, <laughs> you got me. I'm sorry. Shame on me. Shame <laughs> on me. Okay, Jaime. So answer complete. Um, can you give me the complete answer? What did Berta say? I remember uh, 
uh, a good uh, strange habit the the Bertha's husbands have is drink coffee with cheese. Everything is excellent, except she didn't say it was a good habit. She said it was a strange habit. A strange habit. She ha she said it was strange, but good, very good. Oh, I don't know if this is strange, but um, I drink coffee in any occasion. I I for example, of obviously I drink coffee in the morning, and um, if if I need to, I I drink coffee for lunch. After after lunch. It not, is not not strange. It yeah, but you, necessary. No, no, but like for example, imagine if I for lunch I go to Burger King, and I ask for combo number three, and they ask me, "What do you want to drink?" I say, "Coffee, not soda." Oh. My husband. Yes, too. me too. Yes, it's oh, not really? common, oh. but but many people do do that. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's common yeah, in the Salvador because the yes. the weather is very different of other countries. For for example, I know people uh, do this uh, habit in USA. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Many I, people, many, many people in the rural zone do do the same. After lunch, they they usually uh, drink coffee. They, they drink 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 a cup of coffee. No, but I don't drink after lunch. I drink during lunch. Ah, during lunch. Ah, yes, yes. You know how some people drink tamarindo or... or it's, it's another or, level. Or, or soda. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I ask for coffee. Yeah. And teacher, you drink yes. coffee even on these very hot days? I'm drinking coffee right now. Yes. Oh. Oh, my God. I drink coffee wow. before I how, go to sleep. How, how many times do you... Drink coffee in the day. Oh, five or six. Wow. But, but big cups. It's good you cocaine. Oh, you have God. a problem. I do. <laughs> and, but 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 I only drink coffee coffee. <laughs> I, I don't I don't drink instant coffee. I like real coffee. Oh. oh. Instant coffee. Strange. I don't like. Yeah. It's my passion, and you know, and you know, I was telling my wife, I think I am addicted because I think I have a problem because um, I don't like soda. I I mean, I drink soda, but I I don't buy it. But sometimes when I go out and in the morning, if I don't drink coffee, I feel I feel desperate, and I stop in a store or a gas station and I drink a soda immediately. <laughs> because I need the caffeine. So I think I am addicted to caffeine. And that's a yes. problem. Yeah. So I only drink coffee, water, and tequila. <laughs> but and Saturday, I'm going to drink tequila with strawberries. I'm going to try that. <laughs> okay. Um, listen, before we go, um, I want to teach you something pretty interesting. Do you like interesting facts? Yes. Yes. Do you know what interesting facts are? Yes. Well, All right. Yes. Do you know where the word okay comes from? What is okay? Do. I guess it's uh, mm -hmm. kind of military story. Okay, somebody said it's military, right? Why? What is okay? I said that. Okay, Foster, tell me. Hero killer. I uh, don't remember uh, something like that. Uh, but I, I guess it's 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 a, something about military thing, but I don't remember. Yes, oh. somebody said Ciro killed, and and it's true because what happened was that during the war, like let's say I am here in San Salvador, and there was a war in Soyapango, I sent my messenger to the captain in Soyapango and I say, how are you? And then the, the captain of Soyapango, he writes, we are okay. And I received a letter from the messenger. It says, oh, okay, Soyapango is okay. Zero killed. So during that battle, nobody died. 
So of course that was oh, good news. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So, so it's stuck, you know, I'm okay, we're okay, they are okay. Here, here's another interesting one. Do you know where the word gringo comes from? No. What is gringo? No. Because the U.S. Army has a green uniform? Yeah. You know, actually, Mexico was not very intelligent because Mexico actually sold the land to the United States. There was not a war. They sold the land, the government of Mexico. Idiots. Yeah. <clears throat> so, of course, the United States legally, legally, when the Mexican people did not want to move because no, this is my land, this is my land. And now the United States is saying, no, this is United States now, United States now. So when the United States came to their territory, the poor Mexican people said gringo because they were dressed gringo. in green. Gringo, hon. Fuera gringo, hon. gringo. De ahí que la palabra gringo. Okay. okay, and here's the yeah, and here's the most interesting one. And before you get offended, let me explain that there's a reason. <laughs> have you heard the expression or or have please don't say no. Have you heard have you heard the word fuck? Yes, 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 yes. I imagine I imagine you even say it. Oh fuck. <laughs> Of course, you know, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes. What is fuck? What do you think it is? It's an abbreviation too. It's about uh, I don't know in which country it is, but was and he, uh, they put in the in the doors when someone has sex relations. It means. Fornication under kin cons consent. Kin consent. Uh -huh. Yes, it's very good. And they have a, a permission. <laughs> yeah, in medieval times, medieval, medieval times, you know how sometimes men went to war and sometimes they did not return? But sometimes you, the wife did not know if they were killed, if they are captured, or they escaped. So technically, the woman is still married, technically. But mm -hmm. one year passed, two years passed, three years passed. <clears throat> of course, the woman starts another relation, but technically she is married. So she has to ask permission to the king. A hey, king, I don't know, my husband has been three, four years and he disappeared. You know, I need to continue with my life because remember, women could not work in that time. Mm -hmm. If the king said yes, they gave her a, a, a permission and they said, fuck, it's like, okay, this woman can fornicate under the consentment of the king. So that's F-U-C-K. It's fornication under consentment of king. But now it's a verb. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah, but it's it's interesting because you're wow, really. So really, really, it's not a bad word. Today, people use it as a bad word, but really, it's not a bad word. It's the same example with the expression "llamamos un polvito." What is that expression? Yeah, but is, is there is there it's, a, a <laughs> it's, it's, it's related, related with the, I don't know, 20th century, 16th century, I think. Uh, really? When the people try to get a, a, a little moment alone or, or try or out of uh, the party, they usually sharing in the how do you say terraza? Terraza. 
Oh, okay. but so it, it was. Right? So it was sex related. Yes, no, no but this is not not nothing, nothing to. It wasn't bad. To, it was no. It's nothing to 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 mention about sex. This is only a, a chair with person in, in, in another place of the the party. Oh, okay. Try to to be alone or chair. Oh, okay. Um, Let's have a. Puede decir, vamos a respirar aire para aire. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Interesting. But, Interesting. But con el tiempo, con el oh. tiempo, este, se, ya yeah. no se hizo eso, sino que se hizo como que me imagino, no me imagino, algo. Yeah, me imagino, like, similar to, to the word of fuck. I know, do you know the expression, a huevo? <laughs> I, I was listening to yes. that on, on the radio, and that's very interesting. Where does that expression come from, a huevo? Do you know? No, I don't know. It's like you have the reason. Yeah, but, but why an egg? Why is it necessarily an egg? Because uh, it's, 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 I, I think it's, it's for emphasizing the expression and, and it's the, the last word about it. I, I, was, I was listening on the radio that that expression is from when there was a war, when there was a war and then the soldiers have to be in the mountains, I don't know, for two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, they could only come down to the pueblo, to the store to buy food, correct? But um, because there was a war, the stores had no food. They only had eggs. Uh, the majority of stores in, in the pueblos near the mountains, all they had was eggs, eggs, eggs. So then the expression, a puro huevo vamos a comer. You know, a huevo vamos a comer. So that's that's where the expression, a huevo came from. Interesting. Which that, yeah, I, I was, oh, okay, that's interesting. I did not know that. <laughs> okay, so listen, yes, um, tomorrow we're going to continue. Today the topic was the pronunciation of the O. But um, I think that was pretty easy for you guys. So that's why I wanted to do more of a conversation topic. Okay. So Thank tomorrow, you, tomorrow okay. we can, what, what we're going to do tomorrow is separate the three group. I'm going to separate you like into right. groups of three. And you can have this conversation we had today with all, with you three, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you, thank you. All right, have a very good night. Take a shower if you can. Thank you, you too. I will go serve me another cup of coffee because I need more <laughs> coffee. <laughs> With tequila. Enjoy your coffee. With tequila and strawberry. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. Before I go to sleep, I, 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 I'm going to check out a video on that on YouTube. And don't forget and the bread. No. Nah. <laughs> Pass. I passed there. <laughs> okay, have a good night. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.